Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would just do a quick Sephora haul, a quick Sephora unboxing. A lot of these products I have owned previously. They were repurchased during the Sephora VIB sale, but nonetheless, they are holy grails of mine. And in case you don't know about them, I think you need to know about them. Also, I did try some of the newer products. I tried them for about like two weeks. I think I got this delivery two weeks ago, but I haven't had any time to deep dive into all of it. I've just been grabbing either things that I ran out of that I bought because I needed or just new products of things that I already have because I ran out of them. I'm in that like stage. I find like every six months, I tend to start running out of products and it all happens at once. So it's not only annoying, but it's also expensive because I have to replace all of them at once. If you were interested in today's makeup, I uploaded a video using mostly, this is like 95% of a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. The only thing that is not Charlotte is my mascara and my brow products, but everything else is Charlotte. So if you wanna see these products on my face in action or see how I created this look, then I'll put that video up here. Do be sure to check it out. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop into this Sephora haul video. I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of repurchases and a lot of these products I've talked about so many times, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on them. But I promise you, I bought new things that I've never tried before, that I read great reviews about, that I were recommended to me by God knows who, a lot of people. Um, but we're gonna get there. First, let's go through the holy grails that are just like oldies but goodies. I used this last night, the Saint Tropez Self Tanner Classic, to get this beauty is tan. My hands are a little orange just because I am inexperienced. I have not tanned and I want to say about two months simply because I'm lazy. I hate sleeping with it and I just cannot get my life together enough in the morning to work out early enough where I can work out, shower, put the tanner on, let the tanner sit for like five, six hours and then wash it off. I just, my day doesn't work like that. So I end up having to sleep in it and I don't like it. I find that every time I sleep in it, I don't get a good night's sleep because I'm just like sweating and I'm worried about tanner rubbing off on a comforter or my pajamas. I always wear black pajamas. Um, it's just, it's not a good sleep. So I just haven't been tanning, but if you are in the market for a good self tanner, that normally doesn't leave you orange. I just did a really bad job, but like, look at my arm. It's just, it's like sun kissed. Okay. It's not too, too crazy and really natural looking that I think you will like this. This is the bronzing mousse. Ugh, I go through these like water because I wear makeup. I would say six out of the seven days of the week. I gotta be honest guys, like a makeup, cleansing balm is not that exciting to me. I don't just, for me, I do, I love me some skincare, but this is going on your face for 30 seconds, maybe like a minute. So I just find that I haven't really been adventurous with the cleansing balms. However, maybe I should be once I go through this one, maybe I'll buy something different, but this is just a staple. I really like it. It feels nice and it gets the makeup off. It gets the job done. It's not like too scented and it doesn't irritate my skin. So this has just been my go-to and I like that it has a little spatula that I don't have to dig my hands in here. If you don't know how to use a cleansing balm very quickly, I would show up to my cleansing balm as such, take a dab, rub it into my skin as my skin is dry. It really will just break down the makeup because again, it's a solid oil. So that oil is gonna break everything up. And then you go ahead and add a little bit of water to your face, massage it further into your face. At least that's how I do it rinse it off with cool warm water and then you go in with cleanser now normally if you watch my sephora vib sale hauls or whatever kind of sephora hauls i always talk about my soy face cleanser i have not used it in a minute because i wanted to try something new i have so much skincare in my bathroom at the moment that i just want to get through it so i started using this new cleanser it's called i think it's 1111 super expensive i looked it up online and it's like a hundred dollars for this cleanser but oh my god it smells like a beach luxury luxurious beach vacation. It's so good. I got it in an Ipsy bag, so I didn't spend like the full price on it. I spent 30 bucks for that month and it got sent to me, but holy God, it is so good. So good. I also canceled my Ipsy subscription. I didn't really need to say that. I just felt the need to say that because I'm tired of spending like 30 bucks a month and just, I feel like I'm just hoarding products because I have so much product on me at the moment. Marad Hydration Perfecting Face Cream. This has an SPF of 30. I love this, it is so good. I'm wearing this underneath my makeup today. It never bunches underneath my makeup, which I love about it. It's hydrating, but not greasy. It is a really, really lightweight makeup and it just gives my skin like the extra hydration that it needs because I do have combo leaning to dry skin. I love this, it's so pricey. But again, I stock up on it on times where there's 20% off sales. 
you know? So good. Another product that I repurchased that I'm kind of sad that I repurchased and I know you're all like, girl, you are not saying that when this is probably like my number one promoted product. But let me tell you something. I bought the super large Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream in the last sale. You guys saw it. It was huge. It came with like a surfboard kind of scooper, which I'm keeping because it's so good. And I just find like I don't get this stuck underneath my nails as much as I used to thanks to that scooper. Um, My girlfriend, Carolina, is just like such a skincare junkie and I live for it. She introduced me to this oil, this body oil. I think it's called like body, like B-A-W-D-Y. I will link it down below, but I want to buy that. And that is supposed to do what this does, which is like tighten your skin, help you with collagen and just firm you up. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and use this. Or maybe I'll keep this closed in my back stock and buy the body oil, body oil. I just like saying that and then use this after. I don't know. This is really good though. I'm not knocking this. Like this is probably 10th one of these that I've repurchased. But again, I just, I'm getting bored and I think it's time to try new things. I am getting adventurous because I did buy this. This is not in the Sephora sale. However, I think you could probably buy this in the Sephora sale or at Sephora, I should say, because the Sephora sale is now over. But the Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil by Charlotte Tilbury, you guys know I love my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate Oil, but I'm running low, yes. And I bought that huge ass bottle, but I'm running low. And so I'm gonna try this when I run out of my Kiehl's one. Really into the new face. I was using it every other day. I've been really lazy, like I said at the beginning, or was it the last video that I said this? I've just been neglecting my skin. My nighttime routine, I still wash my face. I still put on my serum, but I'm doing like the bare minimum. Haven't done a new face treatment in like a month. Haven't done a face mask in like a month, so I need to get on that. But during the Sephora sale, which was quite a bit of time ago, I was using the new face pretty often. And so I bought this gel mask. This is the cucumber gel mask. Extreme Detox Hydrator by Peter Thomas Roth. If you are a dry skin betch like me, you will love this. And it also conducts the new face. If you don't know what the new face is, it's like an electro current. I'll put a video up here. Watch this video because I feel like I've been explaining what the new face is so often. It's now blowing up on TikTok and like, yeah, pretty much on TikTok and Instagram. I've been talking about it for months, people. People are asking me about it and I'm like, here, watch watch my video. So here, watch my video. Pretty good. This mask is really, really nice in and of itself on its own. This is new and I haven't tried it yet. This is the Sobel Skin RX Bio Hyaluronic Moisturizing Cream. It's supposed to hydrate and lift. I really like Sobel Skin RX. I really enjoyed their niacinamide serum. Oh my God, it's so, so good. Their vitamin C serum is a little too thick for me. I've had it for a while. It's probably bad now. I should probably get rid of it. It's like $105. The brand is very expensive, but like the vitamin C was just too thick on my skin. It made me hot, it made me sweaty. And I didn't really like it. I'm really enjoying the Gold Fade in MD Vitamin C Serum. I'll link it down below as well. That one is really thin and has a gel-like consistency, which is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful underneath your makeup. Um, but yes, I'm excited to try this. I am running out of my Primera Alpine Berry face cream. I'm running out of it. And like, that's hard to find now. So I need to move on. I need to find something. Honestly, my first instinct was to get the fresh the blue bottle i think it's called like the youth something i'll put that down below as well such a good face cream especially in the summer or warmer months for me it's so beautiful but i want to try something new so i will let you know how my bio hyaluronic moisturizing cream goes it's supposed to hydrate and lift so we shall see i bought two hair products in the sale one of them is the Brio Geo scalp scrub. It's like a charcoal scrub. I'll put a picture of it here. It's in my shower. I'm too lazy to go get it and it's wet and it's disgusting and nobody wants to see that. It's really good though. However, I don't like that by itself to wash my hair. When I wash my hair, I always do a double cleanse, which means I wash it once and then I wash it again and then I do conditioner or conditioning mask. But I really like the Brio Geo scalp. I use that first and then I pair it with my tea tree oil shampoo. I think it's by the body shop. I will put both of them down below. I like that mixture together. So Brio Geo first really cleanse and just like get into the scalp and cleanse it. And then I love a tea tree oil because I just find a tea tree oil to be really cleansing and it just really gets all the dirt out. And for me, I only wash my hair twice a week. So when I clean it, I need to like thoroughly clean it. That might be gross, but I'm just lazy, okay? And also, the Brio Geo smells like a peppermint 
mocha from Starbucks. And that is my favorite drink that Starbucks makes. Ooh, I love it. Try it. Sniff it if you can in Sephora, if there's anything open. I don't know if they have hair testers. Why would they? But if you ever can get your hands on it, smell it and I dare you to tell me. It doesn't smell like a peppermint mocha. I dare you. Love. Okay, this is, oh, I don't know if I love it. I'm thinking about a product that I recently really got into that I bought from Sephora. Let's talk about that first and then I'll tell you about this product because I have not used this yet. But I bought the IGK Rich Kids Coconut Hair Gel Oil and it is so freaking good. Like I use it before I do my hair as like a pre-styling gel so that my curls last longer. So today I did the air wrap and I put a little bit of the, what is it called? What is that brand called? Bumple and Bumble the invisible hair oil that has heat protectant. I did a little bit of that and then I took some of the IGK hair oil that I'm talking about, ran it through my hair and I just find that like my curls stay longer, okay? And it's like more of a curl and you know, it's interesting. I feel like women, especially women who don't wash their hair often, like we love it when our hair is clean. Like we live for a clean hair. And we style without using product because we don't wanna put product back in after we just washed it, but your style isn't gonna last if you don't put product in your hair and that's just the reality of it. So I would find that like I would wash my hair, I'd be so excited that there was nothing in it. I would air wrap it, throw a little bit of hairspray in and like my curls wouldn't make it to day number two, like barely, like hanging on by a thread. So I started using the IGK gel, I'll put it right here. I've been using that. Now this, like I said, I have not used. I honestly might return this, I don't know, but this is the Kerastase Chroma Absolute. This is supposed to basically make your hair really shiny and there's this girl on TikTok I don't remember her name I will put her TikTok down below but she did like a review on hair products that you should buy at the Sephora sale because I was just like hardcore doing my research and she raved about this you wash your hair you leave this in for a bit and then you're supposed to wash it out again and for me the only reason why I don't know if I'm going to use this is like I can't be bothered to wash my hair once let alone twice in one day like just the inconvenience of like rinsing it out it's just not a me vibe so I don't really know if I'm gonna use this but I kind of want to though because at the same time my hair is very dry and it could look a little shinier I don't know thoughts maybe I'll try it taking this out like this looks really fun to use with I like the little spout thing and I love that it's pink Merit actually sent me two gorgeous products I'm a huge Merit fan I love 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 the line I love their products and they wanted to work with me again so they sent me some more stuff and I'm going to show it to you in this video because just by default Merit is sold in Sephora if you would like to shop my Merit link. I will put my link down below. I'm so excited really to try their lip product. I'm sad that I'm wearing this lip that I really love. I'm not taking this off and I'm not putting this on. I want to take some video shots of it, but like, look at this. I already opened this and looked at how beautiful it is. Like it's so freaking beautiful. And what happened was Merit reached out to me and told me that they would send me a couple products, asked me to pick out which ones I want. And I really wanna try the lipstick. You guys know I'm a big lipstick fanatic. I do a lip combo every week on Monday. I upload the lip that I'm wearing for the entire week and I actually wear it for the entire week. This is in the shade Baby. This is like a beautiful mauve kind of perfect nude. I probably will have used this by the time this video goes up so I will insert a clip but holy hell, read nothing but really good things about Merit lip products. So I'm very excited to try this bad boy. And then this was just a repurchase. I don't wanna open this because I'm finishing up the one that I already have open. 1980 brown volumizing pomade for your brows. And I just love this. I don't know why I am so addicted to this brow gel. I've said so many things about it. I don't want to dive into it too much, but Merit is clean beauty. And I just find that like using this, it tints my brows really nice, but it doesn't cause my, my brows to fall out. A lot of the times when I use a brow gel, that's not this one. Like it gets clogged into my my brows and no matter how nice or gentle I try to clean it out like I just feel like it messes with my hair follicles and then my brows are not as bushy and they end up being sparse but this has like really weirdly helped me keep my brows really fluffy and bushy naturally so I'm sold on this I am such a big fan it is so nice you don't get a lot for your money but it's really good and I highly recommend checking it out if you are a babe on a budget I would check out the essence made me brows they're just as good um but no that's a lie they're good for three dollars 
but not as good as Merit. So that is it. Those are all of the products that I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale. Some products that were sent to me by the beautiful brand Merit. Thank you so much again. Let me know down below in the comments, have you tried any of these products before? Will you try them? If you have tried them, let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you bought anything during the Sephora sale, which was a very long time ago, or just let me know, you know, what it is that you've bought from Sephora recently. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.